It's Friday and that means reaction videos. Reaction time, la, la, la. This week I'm checking out a James Dean screen test and some other videos that I found on YouTube. Let's get into it. Follow the yellow brick room. You always have had. Why? Why? It's so easy to be friends with people. Uh, no, it's not. I've tried being friends with people and they usually disappoint me in some way or another. So I prefer not to have friends. Well, except for my husband, of course. He's my best friend. Aww. Friend with benefits. Dude, that was lame. Look, man, why don't you just give dad a chance? Why don't you show him that you love him? This can be interpreted in more than one way, especially with James Dean being shirtless in the scene. Show dad that you love him can mean to show love to the older guy of the thruple. A thruple is a romantic relationship between three people. Personally, I think it's completely f***ed up. Well, Aaron, I've tried that. How are you gonna do it? How? It's so easy. Show him. Tell him. Oh, you show him. Go up to him and tell him that you love him. Anything. Uh, just, just show him that you love him. I don't think they're talking about a father figure over here. Or maybe it's just my mind that's in the gutter. Well, you just show him. You want your son. Mish, what I'll show you. I've seen many movies made for adults that start like this. And then they end up in some compromising <laughs> position or something. Like this one. Now, who's gonna show him? <laughs> Did he just grab James Dean by the balls? Sure, it looked like it. <laughs> what movie is this? Okay, okay, yeah, are, are, are we sure wait, this wait, isn't wait, a Bob Miser yeah, okay, movie? Promise? Yeah, swear to God. Yeah. Hope to die? Yeah, well, yeah, hope to die. Get off of me. Big a pillow fight? Really? This is definitely leading to activities other than playfully slapping each other with pillows in the face. Let's face it, slapping each other in the face with pillows eventually leads to slapping each other in the face with pillows. Next up is a video from India, I guess. Um, teaching us how to wear a langot. I covered this uh, topic in a video that I did way back in the days of my AI narration videos when my camera was broken. Uh, a langot or languri is a loincloth type of clothing worn by men in India's underwear, especially by men who um, wrestle. Ready, I like the middle one. What can I say? I like my men of a certain color. Guess that's why I married a man of color. I guess if they put on langots for this video, the way they're putting it on, that means they're not wearing anything under their kurta. By the way, a kurta is a tunic styled shirt that is used for casual clothing in many parts of India. Just a tidbit of information for you. That guy in the middle has got some killer legs on him. Am I the only one that finds this arousing? I mean, interesting? I just wish we had some subtitles or an English dub version so that we can know what they're explaining to us. Oh wait, I can make my own English dub version. Welcome to another episode of Handsome Men from around the world. Indian men love their tight-fitting langots and so do gay viewers. Bachelor One isn't fondling himself, he's tying his langot. So get your mind out of the gutter. The guy in the middle has pretty muscular legs. I won't mind them wrapped around my waist. This is a motion most of you are probably familiar with, especially after a few drinks. The langots are tied into place, so obviously the shirts are gonna come off. I don't know about you, but after that, I need a cigarette. The guy in the middle is the Indian gift that keeps on giving. He can make volcanoes erupt simply by flexing his arms. That's it for this week's episode. My Mount Vesuvius has just erupted. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right, my second channel consists of original content, as well as me exploring the area that I live in, as well as some dad jokes. Ever wondered why golfers carry two pairs of pants? 
It's in case I get a hole in one. So what are you waiting for? Go on, check out my second channel. A link to that channel is in the description of this video. The next clip that I found has got no description or anything, so um, let's just see what it has in store for us. Okay, summertime, three young muscular men at the beach. This could become interesting. It looks like they're fighting about him. I just wish we had an English dub version of this clip so that we know what they're fighting about. You're so strong and handsome. Everybody look! His mommy still writes his name in his undies. Such a sturdy waistband. I can tuck at it all day. Back off girl, these undies are mine. I don't mind sharing, we can be a thruple. <laughs> Oh, a wedgie and cold water. Ouch. I had a bully back in high school um, who loved giving out wedgies. Back then it felt like torture, but today, who knows? It can be seen as foreplay, I guess. Next up is a guy who apparently lives like Tarzan out in the wild. So apparently he slept like this against the tree in a pink loincloth. I'm not sure what animal he made his loincloth from. Um, I don't think there are any naturally pink animals in the wild that I can think of. Not that pink, anyway. Wow. So Tarzan has a selfie stick and a smartphone. I guess he's a modern age Tarzan. Ow! Before you ask, this is not the same jungle that I live in. Um, so, no, I don't know this guy. Doing push-ups upside down? Really, Tarzan? Really? Are you telling me you do this actually on a daily basis? Upside down push-ups? Not that I'm complaining. I mean, it's a view I can get used to. I'm not sure how much weight a coconut has, but... This seems a bit redundant to me, especially if you want to work out some muscles. And yet, I can't look away. Muscle motion. During the 80s, the Chippendales were everywhere you looked, so it makes perfect sense that they, at some point, would tap into the exercise home video market like so many other celebrities did back in the 1980s. This woman's voice is throwing me off a bit. Uh, she reminds me of those late night telephone lines that people called when they were looking for single ladies in their area back in the 80s. This looks interesting. I'm pretty sure there was a market for home videos about men doing the bounce. Especially back in the 80s. I can imagine a lot of men doing the bounce back in the 80s. I mean, who doesn't enjoy a good bounce? Have you bounced today? Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, why not check out some of the other videos on this channel? For another reaction video like this one, click on this link over here. Or for something different yet equally entertaining, click on a link over here. Um, feel a bit awkward now, waiting for the video to fade to black.